everyone, Gary Chillingworth here for Air Gun World Magazine, Shooting Country TV. Welcome to Life at a Range. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas day yesterday. Today is Boxing Day if you're watching this uh, as it's just come out. And I hope you're going to have a lovely new year coming up. Um, personally, I, I spent time with the family, mother and father-in-law, had a wonderful time. And what a brilliant day. And I've had a few people reach out to me and, and I know it, this can be a really tough time of year because not everyone has family and things like that. So please, if you ever feel the need, reach out, drop me an email at lifeatarrange at gmail.com. We are a community here on the Facebook page, via the emails, everyone looks after each other. So please, feel always free, feel free to, to drop me a line and I'll always try and get back to you if I can. What a brilliant year 2023 has been. We've done some shooting, we've had some laughs, um, had a great time with my old mucker Mick Garvey. Um, big shout out to Mick and Babs. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Um, Babs, I know you're going through a bit of a rough time at the moment. All love to you and I'm sure everything is going to be fantastic. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos that me and Mick put out earlier in the year. Um, our new one has just dropped on slugs, pellets and bullets and go and check it out if you haven't seen it. Please let me know what you would like me and Mick to get up to, or even Mick and I. It sounds like it could be a good musical, etc., etc., etc. What you would like the Mick and I to do next year. Um, Mick has access to some bigger guns, some more powerful FAC stuff. So if there's something you can think of that you would specifically like me and Mick to look at, then please let me know in the, uh, uh, in the comments below or drop me an email. Huge thanks, obviously, to my travelling partners, Alex, Jeff and Jean. Um, thank you so much for all the support this year and for listening to me waffle on about these silly little videos. And thanks to everyone who has helped me. Massive thanks to Mourner District who let me turn up and film stuff there and to flopover.co.uk who supply me with targets to, to shoot and to ruin and, and to stuff like that. Thank you to the Surplus Store in Crawley, our sponsor. Apparently they're going to be sponsoring us for 2024 and we've also got a new sponsor which we will be announcing very, very soon to stand alongside Crawley. So that is going to be very, very uh, exciting. But yeah, the Surplus Store, you guys have been amazing and thank you very, very much. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to fund new equipment and things like that. So huge appreciation. Massive thanks to Shooting in Country TV and to Emily, um, our video uh, our video editor, who has now gone off to sunnier climbs. Um, no matter where you are, Emily, you're going to be absolutely amazing. To our cameraman, Adam and CJ, who've been doing the shoots that we did at Brook Valley. And the thing you're going to be seeing very, very soon at the Air Rifle League of Great Britain, where I went and shot a PRS event with the help of Ryan Charlton, shooting out to 110 metres of multiple different stages and it's all very exciting and I was sucked uh, but Ryan Charlton who is a PR, top PRS shooter helped me out with that so massive thanks to Ryan as well in the air gun world sign, uh, side we've obviously Dave Barham has been absolutely amazing and supportive all year he's my editor-in-chief but more important than Dave or even Terry Doe is Dave's mum Rosie who proofreads all of my articles and turns my, illiter my illiterate gibberish into something that's still gibberish, but no longer illiterate. Without everyone, I could not do what I do. So I can't tell you guys how much it is appreciated. And more importantly, thanks to you, the viewers, the readers, the people who take the time to write to me, to contact me and to send me ideas and to be so supportive. Thank you so much. 
we get emails from all over the world. I've had them from Australia, from Brazil, from Papua New Guinea, even a few from Wales, which is amazing considering I don't even think they have electric. Got a great email the other day from Leon Desler. Um, he's in the United States and he sent me some pictures and we'll put them up here of his wonderful kids, grandkids, um, Anthony and Michael, who are the future of the sport, shooting out there and showing us all how to do it properly. Um, guys, thank you so much for getting in touch. It makes my day. But what are we here for today? Well, earlier in the year, uh, Mr. Tilly from Tilly's Gunstocks, superb stocks, um, he did a challenge: a hundred meters, forty sorry, hundred yards, forty mil kill, and he used an XTI fifty to have a go at that amazing gun. And I think he knocked one or two on his second attempt did brilliantly i had a go on my own personal channel now on youtube i've got my channel which is under gary chillingworth but we're also starting up a second b channel called life at the run and that we're going to be having lots of little behind the scenes bits and lots of stuff that doesn't go onto the main channel because obviously we only got two videos a month going onto the main channel so go and check out life at the range on youtube we'll put a couple of videos up and that's going to be stuff where if there's something specific you want that we can't really put on the main channel. Oh, yeah. Hi, Gary. How does a how do you index a magazine or something like that? I could just do a quick video if I if I can and just show you and we can put that up on there. I thought it was a good idea and it's something that can be there as a resource. So that's life at a range on YouTube. So I did have a go at the TX challenge and we use the TX200 Hunter Carbine with a Vortex Viper on top. And we got really close. In fact, we'll put some video up. But we did manage to kill the target because I couldn't see where the pellets were hitting. Looking at something 100 yards away on 10 mag, there's just not enough to, to see where you're striking. Now, earlier in the year, Tony Belas at uh, MTC, MTC Brocock and Daystate, loaned me an amazing King Cobra. We did a review on it earlier in the year. Amazing piece of glass. So we put that on top of my TX and we dialed it up to 20 mag and first focal plane. So, you, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of ret you use on what kind of, uh, uh, on what kind of a magnification. And we thought we'd have another go. So on a very windy, blustery day, 15 miles an hour, one five, not 50 as I said in the video, you'll see that. Sounds like I'm saying it's 50 mile an hour crosswind. There's not, it's 15. Um, we had another go. 10 shots, 40 mil target, 100 yards away. Can we do any better than we did with the TX200 Hunter Carbine and the MTC King Cobra? Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a wonderful new year. And we'll see you all again in 2020. See, I can't even talk today. We'll see you all again in 2024. Ta-da. Well, here we are, Mongnam District. Uh, 0800. Um, cold, windy day. And we've got the target set out at 100 yards. Um, we're all set up and ready to go. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Bit tired, just come off a long night shift, and uh, but let's give it a go. TX 200, 100 yards. Let's get the target sprayed up, and uh, and see how see how we do. 50 mile an hour side wind, so it's going to be taking a bit, but uh, but we can try. So it's going to be fun. Okay, so here we are. Just move my microphone, otherwise I'm going to be here uh, laying on it. 100 yards TX200 with the MTC King Cobra. Got 10 shots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's put those away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 6. There you go. So I can count. So, Tilly, you did incredibly well with the XTI 50. I think killed a couple. So let's see what we can do with a good old spring gun. All right. 
right to left wind. Don't shoot the camera. Well, a miss, but I'm not exactly sure where we missed. So, shot number two. Well, that didn't hit anything. I think maybe I'm giving the wrong wind. Number three. Let's just go down its throat. Well, we're hitting something. That was number four. Okay, so that hit high and left. So I think the wind is switching down there. So this is number five. Right, so I've been giving it three. So that hit on two and a half. So let's aim a little bit low. Not good. Number six. This is the problem when you have wind. Last time I did this, it was a really still day. Well, we're definitely getting right to left wind. You've got three more shots to go. So let's just, all right, let's slow down a bit. Let's slow down a bit. Or you could just pull the trigger without meaning to. Yeah. But that was the closest one we got. Right, two more to go. Right, we can see where that one hit. So three, so we're going to get three and a half outside right edge. Yes! And we killed it. 100 yards killed it one pellet to go right so <laughs> and I just broke the string <laughs> oh that's blue and typical well we killed it with one pellet left to go so tell you what we'll leave it no no we're gonna go and reattach the string and uh, we'll be back in a minute Okay, we have reset the target. Well, so we've reattached the string. This breaks again. We'll call it a day. Now, there we go, reset. I'll tell you what, we've got one more to go to get two out of ten. I'll tell you what, if we get this, we might have another go, another five. But the problem is, I can't really remember. What was it? It was three mil dots, wasn't it? Just outside right edge. Well, there we go. We shot 10 shots. We killed one with a spring gun at 100 yards. That's why you should never ever hunt with something like this at these kind of distances. Any little breath of wind 
and everything just goes all over the place. But we got a kill, which we didn't do last time. Um, absolutely amazing rifle. Scope, I could see the pellet strike so I could work out what I was doing. It's just on a blustery day with the wind switching left and right, left and right, up and down, up and down, you're getting uh, you know, a three or four inch group um, or even bigger. But one of them went in and that's all I care about. So have a wonderful Christmas, or I hope you had a wonderful Christmas as today is Boxing Day, a brilliant new year, and we'll see you all again at the Life of the Range very, very soon. Ta-da!